This is the melody created by the mouth harp. The instrument is so small that it can be hard to see if you're not standing close. It is popular among the Hui ethnic group of northwest China's Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region. The Hui represent the largest Muslim community in the country. Although young people generally favor pop music over the tunes created by the mouth harp, a woman named An Yuga has been working to preserve this form of intangible cultural heritage. In a music class at the Ningxia Art School, students are amazed to discover the melodies that can be created with such a tiny instrument. I remember my grandma had one when I was little, but I never knew what it was. I thought the mouth harp must be large and have different tones. I never expected it to be so tiny, but with such a broad tonal range, it's just amazing. Mouth harps are usually made out of bamboo or metal. Bamboo mouth harps are especially popular. Sharp knives are used to trim pieces of bamboo and cut them into the appropriate shapes. Care must be taken to carve the instrument properly so as to ensure the correct sound. Mouth harp performers have a unique way of playing their instrument. Players tie one end of a silk thread to the instrument and the other end to their right hand. Pulling the thread can alter the sound of the instrument. Pitches can be further refined by changing one's breathing and mouth shape. Because of its small size, you can bring it anywhere you go. Usually, several people get together to play. The mouth harp is one of China's oldest instruments, having been played even during primitive times. It is especially popular among China's ethnic minority groups. There was a time when nearly every Hui owned a mouth harp, with many playing the instrument during breaks from farm work. It provided a way for local people to communicate with each other and gave them a sense of community and identity. An said the mouth harp is especially important for Hui women. The Hui are different from other ethnic groups in that they are more introverted. They choose to use musical instruments to express themselves. For Hui women, the mouth harp is a way to represent their emotions. An said the mouth harp is symbolic of the creativity of the Hui. The small instrument has a big history, despite becoming less popular in recent years. An worries that the mouth harp could eventually become extinct due to the spread of more popular music. She has worked to preserve the instrument and the skills needed to play it since 1986. She has not only collected musical scores that were thought lost, but also tried to integrate the mouth harp with other instruments to make it more appealing. I like playing the mouth harp late at night when it's quiet. I don't know much about decorating them, though. I'm trying my best to learn how to paint in order to make the mouth harp more attractive. The mouth harp is easy to carry around. You can just hang it on your clothes. In this way, it can also be a fashion accessory. <laughs> The mouth harp was listed as a form of national intangible cultural heritage in 2006, and An has become one of its inheritors. She is spending more time in schools, teaching children about the instrument in the hope of passing it on to younger generations. <laughs>